Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Musketeers from Task Force Games. I had played this uh, with my friend Len a few years ago. Uh, he let me borrow this just to do a unboxing of it. So let's see what this is all about. Musketeers is a game depicting 17th century France and the adventures of the three musketeers created by Alexandre Dumas. Uh, Palace and the immediate palace grounds is a scene of intrigue and occasionally of bloody sword fights. The famous foursome Athos, Porthos, Aramis, and the Artagnan are fighting for France in the honor of their queen. The rules for musketeers are structured in a series of easy-to-learn steps. Players learn the game as they play and enjoy it, and it's designed to be equally exciting with other players or as a solitaire game. All right, so it supports one, two, or three players, and playing time uh, around an hour, and complexity uh, level introductory to moderate. So let's, let's see what's in here. Here's a Task Force Games catalog. I'll have to look through that later. I like looking through these old catalogs. All right, maybe we'll just look through it now. Looks like it's printed on like newspaper material. Yeah, a lot of their Starfleet Battles stuff here. People's War Games, is it the same People's War Games I'm thinking of? I'm surprised it's uh, advertised in a Task Force Games catalog, unless they were uh, selling their games for them or something. Here it's got a bunch of historical games here. There's Starfire, I, I guess they had miniatures for Starfire too. I didn't even know that. And here's this game itself. Fourth Reich, that's one I, I want to get. Uh, I saw, I think it was Combat Board Games had a video on it. It looked pretty cool. Battle Wagon, I have that. Operation Pegasus. Armor at Curse, that's good. Space Command, I've never heard of that one. Hmm. You have to keep an eye out for that. Right, and some ads for Nexus Magazine. Let's take a look at the map. Map looks pretty decent, actually. So, I don't know if there's a mansion here or what this is. And then let's go to the uh, second level. Yeah, art artwork looks really good for an old game like this. And here's what the rooms are. They all got a letter and over each, uh, look up the letter here to see what it is. And you put eliminated units there and replacements. Here's the rules of play. Let's see if we can see a date in here. 1985. So that map looks pretty good for 1985. Alright, it starts with the introduction going over the glossary of terms. And then going over the components. Alright, it has a sequence of play there, but where is the sequence of play? There's supposed to be a sequence of play outline. Is it on the back page? All right, here's the turn sequence outline. Initiative determination phase, first player movement phase, combat phase, uh, which has daring do combat and normal combat. And then first player activity phase, where you search for secret passages. And second player movement phase and a combat phase. And a second player activity phase. And then a guard replacement phase and a random guard movement phase. And here's the turn sequence outline when you're playing solitaire, it's slightly different. That's cool, it's got solitaire rules. Alright, here it's going into movement uh, that's controlled by the player. Secret passage rules. And combat rules. Alright, so that's only uh, six and a half pages of rules, and then the scenario starts. There's an introductory scenario. And uh, scenario two, the duel. Oh, so I see, you read those rules and then you play these scenarios, and then here's some more rules. Here's personality movement, locked doors, stationary guards. Now it's going over locked windows and breaking windows. Prisoner movements. Concealment.
I was going over noise and searching for prisoners. And here's the charts and tables. You got a daring do table. Search for secret passage table, secret passage connections table, wound chart for named characters and guard characters. And here's your daring do action chart, personality movement chart, locked door window chart, guard room activation chart, breaking in at a window chart, miscellaneous chart, combat modifiers, noise table, possible prisoner jewel location table, search for prisoner table, and search for jewels table. Counters are pretty rudimentary. They look better than metagaming counters, though, I'll give them that. They're just single sided. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click like on it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And if you probably heard, I'm selling used war games on my website. And I also have a wish list on there of war games that, and uh, miniatures and stuff, like, and stuff like that that I want to buy. Have a good evening.